Now this is the photo that we've been working on and as you can see the photo is nicely sized. It covers most of the canvas area so that when you go to print out this image for your client, your client should get a pretty good idea of what your design is. It will make for a nice printout and also if you wanted to create a JPEG of this image, you'll get a nice sized JPEG. Everything in the photo is proportionate. It is not distorted out of shape, but your design is not necessarily sized to scale. Now, what I mean by that is, say for example that we know that this window happens to be 43 inches wide. Well, if I use my dimension tool and I go to draw a 43 inch dimension tool, watch what happens. There. I can tell immediately that the window in the photo is larger than 43 inches. You can actually see a comparison of the two windows. On the left is my original photo. I just cropped off the sides. On the right is the same photo and treatment, only the window where the photo has been sized to scale. And if I click on my dimension tool and then click on the canvas so my little window pops open and I'll type in 43 inches, you're going to see that this photo has been sized to scale. And I'll show you how to size that photo to scale in just a minute. But I wanted to mention a few things. I'm usually a little wary about sizing photos to scale for a number of reasons. One thing is that photographs always distort. And so if you take a measurement on a photo, it may not be a true measurement because a photo that's taken by a person who is five foot tall is going to look different than a photo that was taken by a person who might be six foot tall. And the other thing is I don't think I would ever count on measurements on a photo for really detailed work. I don't think I would ever count on those measurements to do things like order expensive decorative hardware or to create fabrication instructions for the workroom or to create installation instructions for the installer. But everybody has their own personal preference. There really is no right or wrong. I probably look at designing on a photo as a presentation tool and if I were worried about actual measurements I would probably draw an elevation where I know that there is no distortion like you have in photos and I think the measurements are more accurate. To scale a photo is pretty easy. I'm going to go over to this canvas where I have the two windows and let me zoom in so we can see this a little bit better. I'm going to take a measurement from something in the photo. Now I happen to know that this window measures at 43 inches. So I'm going to click on my dimension tool click on the canvas to open up that window and I will type in 43 inches. Then I will draw my dimension tool. Remember if you keep the finger depressed on the shift key it will draw perfectly horizontal. I'll zoom out so I can see more of the photo. Now all I have to do is resize the photo so that the window in the photo measures 43 inches across. Remember to keep your finger depressed on the shift key while you pull on a corner handle so that you are resizing proportionately. There, actually that looks pretty good. I'm just going to nudge this over a little bit using my arrow key on the keyboard. So I'll go back to this other canvas which shows the side-by-side -side comparison. On the left is our design which was designed proportionately. On the right is the design that was also done proportionately 
but to scale and as you can see much smaller on the printed page. Now if I do a close-up of that window, I want to point out something. On the top you can see that the photo was resized so that the window is 43 inches wide. But look at the width at the bottom of the window. It's slightly larger than 43 inches. And this is why I'm saying that if you measure a photo just be careful because photographs do distort. Now let me go back to that sunroom that we were working on. This is the photograph that we rotated slightly so that the window was even and perfectly horizontal. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. At the top, I drew a line that was perfectly horizontal. And notice that the window, the top of the window, is perfectly horizontal as well. But look what happens at the bottom of the window. I've drawn another horizontal line, but I've also drawn a line that really shows the angle of the bottom of the window and notice how tilted that line is. This is another example of using a photograph where again the photographs do distort. So you may have the photo which is perfectly horizontal at the top of the window but the bottom of the window could be quite tilted. So that's just an example of how you need to be careful when taking measurements on an actual photograph. Again, it's a matter of preference. I use the photograph for presentation purposes and if I do want to take measurements and depend on those measurements, I'll draw an elevation.